Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Metro 2033 Redux. Last time, when we left off, we had made our way through the Ghosts mission with Khan. It was extremely interesting. Khan led me into now we have arrived at Cursed Station. The station is under attack again. Let's go, lad. The defenders could use some help. We got it. Khan, over here! So many of those Alice's. Another attack? Yes, they broke through the outer defenses. So All many. survivors are here. So much ammo. Our diver will live to see another day. Where do the monsters come from? As always, from the left tunnel and from the crossing. We sent a demolition squad there, but they never came back. And there is no one else we could send. You are eager to avert your station's doom, Artyom, are you not? And here the doom has already arrived. We must help. Find the remains of the demo squad. They had a bomb. Move it into the left tunnel as far as you can, then run for it. The explosion will be massive. As for the crossing, it's already been buried once, but looks like the Nosalises have dug through the cave-in. There was an airlock close by. It must have been left open. Try locking or collapsing it. I'll stay here with the survivors. Try luring the monsters towards us if there are too many. Hey, more point. Nice. All right. And a checkpoint. Praise be. That's the best. Back here. Right. 
it somewhere over here. That's my bad. Wasn't paying attention. stopping those Alice's, right? Isn't that the idea? That's such luck. What the fuck is going on? How are there still none of those Alice's? Let's see.
There's our first note. Cursed. Only note. Once this used to be a regular station, lived in, even prosperous. One of those stations where not only heavily armed fighters can survive, but also old men and women and even children. Then the mutants came, as if from nowhere. They were innumerable. The cursed. Sure, then it was still called its old name, fought back with all it had. But the means proved inadequate. The defenders were forced to abandon all of their roadblocks in the tunnels, one after another. Then they barricaded the main platform and had their last stand there. They fought to the last child they were able to, ev to evacuate to the neighbor station, the last old lady carried there, to the last bullet. And when the bullets were gone, those at the barricades all stayed there. Then the cursed station got its name, from the saved wives and children of those who'd stayed there forever. And that is what awaits our exhibition if I don't pull my task off. And perhaps not just the exhibition, but the whole of Metro. There's still no Alice's. I had two things I needed to snuff out. There's Khan. A big war at a small station was won. I won't be going further with you. I'm still needed here. The tunnels have collapsed. If you still want to get to Polis, you'll have to take a detour. You can get to the armory from here, and afterwards you will have to go through the stations belonging to the Reds and the Nazis. Let's move. <clears throat> the smithy is an independent station, so it should be no problem. But the Reds are another story. They are building a new society, complete with all the lovely police state bonuses, like people informing on their neighbors. And the smithy look for an acquaintance of mine. Andrew, the blacksmith. Mention my name. He'll give you a hand. He's getting us past the ghosts. Thanks, Khan. You're pretty awesome, my man. I'm sad our time together is already over. A shrine to hope. Even in these times, we can't relinquish the things that make us human. That's pretty good. on you and you alone. Until we meet again, goodbye, Artyom. Thanks, Khan. I liked you. Armory Station was where most of the weapons in the Metro were made. There had been an arms factory located above, and after the nukes fell, many of the workers settled here. I was looking for Andrew the Smith, but he found me first. All right. That's not even 15 minutes, so keep going for another checkpoint, I think. Although I do need to take a quick restroom break.
Thank you for your indulgence there. Let's roll forward. Checkpoint. Steam off there. Call! Who goes there? Stand still! Hey, loosen up! It's a human! Kill the light already! Well, you look human. <laughs> That's all that counts. Come in, this is a free station. Thanks, fellas. Careful, kid. Our free station is under the watchful eye of the Reds. Paranoia is a new game in town, so keep yourself below the radar. You understand? Yes, I think I do. Just some friendly advice. Attention! Attention! Document inspection is currently being carried out at the armory. Please stay at your registered residences and assist the law enforcement personnel in their work. Be vigilant, comrades. The enemy never sleeps. Hey, bullets. What's up, bro? Oh, we're back at a civil, a genuinely civilized station. Who the hell? I don't think we've been here, we've been in one of these since Riga. Face to the world, this is an inspection. Hey, come on, quit harassing me. But don't swing that way. <laughs> Got the bolts yet? Prepare the for boss the is busy right now. Oh, I'm always prepared for this. Uh, doctor, could you check my prostate while you're at it? I'm pissing kind of funny. It's glowing. Must be the radiation, huh? <laughs> Get lost. Get a move on. You kick the part that attracts you the most? <laughs> uh, pretty weak, though. What, they don't feed you enough? <laughs> Watch out, the guards on your back. Hi, he's a fucking comedian, I huh? don't see many of those guys. Try this on for size, you punk. Uh, oh, okay, that one was better. Shh, hush. And who are you? The comedian's boyfriend. Put your hands out. You're under arrest. Right, all right. Lay off. I'll come quietly. I'm gonna kill him. Go! Let's get them! Come on, follow me! Left in our world, 
That day, he was with me. I have been rescued by Han's friend, Andrew the Blacksmith. He would prove to be my ticket out of the communist station. But the only way goes through a goddamn battlefield, the front line between the Reich and the Reds. You'll need a disguise. Take these overalls, put them over your clothes. The Reds are rounding up the volunteers to storm the Nazi fortifications. They're about to send a train full of new recruits straight into the fire. But you will be riding the train unannounced. Your seat won't be first class, but you don't have to pay the fare with your own blood either. <laughs> Once the troop train has passed the roadblocks, you're on your own. Wow, okay. We got a note. Armory. There are many in the metro who hate the Reds because they are afraid of them. The Reds always go hungry even though they work around the clock. They are told they toil for a better future, but year after year their lives get even more miserable. They fight with abandon, as if not afraid of death at all, and their com commanders just throw them away, piling their bodies up to block enemy gun emplacements, spending their lives as if their charges were immortal. But they are mortal, and they die, of exhaustion, of overworking, of bullets fired by their enemies, and their own commissars ordered to shoot those retreating. They are told that they are superior, that they are made of steel, not flesh. And that is why I pity them. What do they live and die for? The idols of the past are long gone, but they are kept in the dark about it. The slogans they communicate with are meaningless in the new world. They are prohibited from speaking or even thinking freely. Anyone asking questions is deemed a traitor. Anyone who says life's better outside the red line is a spy and a saboteur. You have to hide everything human about you and become just like the rest of them. But there are also people like Andrew the Blacksmith here. People who refuse to abandon hope and who persevere. If I were in his shoes, I'd be long gone. Why is he still here? Is he afraid of being shot, making his escape? Uh -huh. There goes Andrew. Got bullets here. lost. Open us up for their invasion. Very well. All new arrivals will be sent to the cages till they're clear. That way, your own people can sort out the suspects. All right, we got the traders here. Visit the shops. Tony wife's in the way you still can, but don't waste time. The train is on schedule and it's not waiting. Come yeah, look, Net bye, kits, bye. filters, knives. Everything you need when traveling in dangerous areas, no? So good on that kid. For everything. Good on all my secondaries. <laughs> Whatever. Special offers, uh, discounts, uh, best guns from the Fort Masters. I'm gonna sell my Kalash, 14 ammo. All right, let's buy. Well, let's read that thing. Helsing. A silent revolving Take air it. gun that shoots Just metal bolts. Overpressurizing its tank increases power, but the extra pressure vents before long. Decar. A makeshift air gun, surprisingly silent and, and accurate. 
though the pressurizing its tank increases power to the extra pressure vents before long. A shambler. This revolving I'm shotgun done. is very More effective in close range. It works. stays so even at medium range, but takes quite some time to fully reload. Kalash. The classic pre war assault rifle. Despite being very common, it is held in very high regard due to the Metro due to its reliability and performance. VSV. An Are accurate and powerful assault rifle and good for medium range combat. Its somewhat low muzzle velocity translates into lower noise and faster bullet drop. Bastard. This makeshift SMG. Nice gun. See those. You won't really AKSU. Your this shorter version of the classic Kalash with a folding left. stock has a very high rate of fire, but does not have the range or accuracy of its larger sibling. Hellbreath. Nice gun. The railgun you shoots very balls at incredible purchase. speeds, but takes time to charge its capacitor. Deals lower damage if fired before charging fully. Okay, I want one of these. So I need Whatever. to go to exchange and sell some ammo I'm not using. Bullet exchange! You won't find better rates in whole Metro! Alright, I would like to sell. There we go. Keep my revolver, and I'm gonna buy a hell breath. You're welcome. <clears throat> For you. Just buy and shoot. I hell breath for That's 210 ammo. You bet it. You bet. Very nice. done with this station, and that's going to do it for the episode when we are. It's okay, guys. He's with us. Come on, jump into the hole up to him. Well, note and bullets. That's always good. Note two. I was not wrong about Andrew, I just grossly underestimated him. He is not afraid of running, he just does things that take much more guts than that. Andrew helps others escape the red line, risking his own life every minute. He and his friends save lots of refugees using a network of abandoned passages and forgotten tunnels, which the Reds are still ignorant about. The refugees usually take this literal and at the same time figurative underground railroad to get from the red line to the metro proper. But for me, Andrew is working it in reverse. I need to get to the front lines of the never-ending war between the Red Line and the Reich. I'm taking the train which is delivering a fresh load of cannon fodder to the meat grinder. The important part is to know when to jump off.
Okay, pick it up. It's okay. It's all right. Thank you, Andrew. Did you join the army? I followed my political beliefs. As for me, I'm here for that doll. How about you? Me? Join the army, they said. See the world, they said. Huh? My father was a Red Army soldier, and his father as well. It's the family tradition. So tell me, Lev, is it also your tradition to lose arms and legs on the battlefield? They were happy to make those sacrifices. <laughs> sure. Drunks and fools are happy too. There's a black capsule in my ammo pouch. What is that? An antibiotic? No. It's cyanide, in case the enemy captures you. What? But... God forbid suicide. I'd go straight to hell. Listen, altar boy. A Nazi prisoner is going to hell anyway. Trust me. The pill is faster. I could never take my own life. Then give me your pill. I'd rather swallow two than rot in one of their stalags. Even the apocalypse didn't stop us from killing one another over ideology. I was about to go through the front line between the Nazis and the Communists. I heard they once fought another war, but the Nazis lost. Uh, hi baby, two minutes. Yeah. We don't need to leave yet, right? Just g give me two minutes, I'll come out. All right, there is the checkpoint, and that is going to do it for this installment of Let's Play Metro 2033 Redux. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, I hope you'll give the video a like and consider subbing to the channel. If you care to discuss this or any of my other content, the best place is my Discord server. There's a link in the video description I've set never to expire. That being said, Discord has a bad habit of expiring my links anyway. If that's happened, please feel free to contact me directly. I'll be happy to invite you myself. If you care to support me or the channel, the best way apart from liking and subscribing is through my Patreon page. Patreon supporters get to nominate and or vote for games they'd like to see completed on the channel. They also get early access to half my videos. If you're interested in learning the details or getting involved, that link's in the description as well. Regardless, I really do want to thank you for watching. I'm grateful for your time and attention. I appreciate you. Hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Take care.